in this video you're going to learn all about the eip 2535 standard which is um the diamond standard um you're going to learn how to set up a project using this standard and possibly how to deploy and verify and all of those good stuff so let's just jump right into it the eip 2535 um, is the diamond standard implementation um, it basically allows you to create upgradable contracts um, and it has a structure of a diamond now in my previous video i mentioned all about this just in case you haven't watched it you could go back to watch it this is an article written by blessing emma that really explains how to get started with a um, diamond standard so you, you could reach out and or i'll link i'll drop a link to this article just so you can use it now um this is um a repository by timidan it's a setup for foundry hadat and diamond it just gives you like a boiler plate or a template with all the files that you need to easily get started with um, your diamond storage so i really recommend you could just go and you could clone this repo um so we could just get started with it so i'm going over to my code editor in this project i am going to be building on and deploying an erc20 contract now when you install this um repository they have different um, folders in it so this is the contract folders you can see um, the facet folders it already comes with these three facets the diamond cords lupe and ownership facet then in the interface um, folder you can see it already has the iarc 165 folder interface rather and irc 173 interface the library folder is also there it contains the lib diamond so all of these things are set up you don't need to do them by yourself you could just start adding yours right away so i'm going to start with my my facets my i my erc 20 facet now this is my main contract it comes with all the functions i want to implement um so this is just i got most of this code from open zeppelin so i just copied and pasted some of them and you can see it has everything that i need to implement now i want you to take note of some things in this contract yeah i want you to take note of some things so when you're implementing your facet you just create a solidity file and name it um, the name of your facet now you can see that i am importing um my um, interface my irc20 interface i stored it in the in the interface folder and i i just copied it and i pasted there so make sure you put it in the interface folder just for organization's sake and um, you can see it's from open zeppelin so i imported it in my facet here so and i'm inheriting it here another thing is the um, app storage now the app storage contains all the state variables that i need so ensure that you copy all of them and you put them here this is going to be used by the diamond you can see i just listed all of them all the um state variables that i need so ensure you put them there's also the diamond storage but ensure you put them there now you can see that i'm calling it in my facets so i am calling it there you can see i named it erc20 app storage and i'm importing it in this file and i am storing it as a variable i gave it um s so you can see that i'm returning it and what i'm returning basically is what i have in my app storage I'm just calling it and using it here so now don't forget that will be stored in the libraries um, folder but your app storage or your um, diamond storage should be stored in your libraries folder just for organization sake like I said so take note of that the next thing is your diamond now your diamond is like the major um, the major contract in your diamond standard um, project so because i'm creating an erc20 standard i'm going to be importing um my app storage here again because remember it's majorly going to be used 
um, by the diamond the diamond is the main contract so it's going to be used here so um, it already comes with a default um, contract owner with the address address of contract owner and the address um, of the diamond cut facet so I'm just going to add my total supply my name and my symbol and of course the decimal now these are the ones that I need for my ERC20 so I'm just going to add it there and I'm going to set it there I'll set it um, with whatever I put in there in the constructor so I'm just going to set it there um, s dot um, total supply s um, symbol I'm going to set it there and I don't need to touch any other thing here really this has done most this contract already has most of the work done for you so you just need to add what you need to add now this is my deploy script now this is a script that will deploy my diamond now you can see there that constant diamond is equal to await so there i'm just using it as a js to deploy my contract and this is where i now put in the real value that i want to use when i'm deploying you can see that i have uh, my values you can see glory diamond as the name you can see gpd as the symbol you can see 18 as the decimal the other ones are going to be put um by default when it is being this deployed and when i console log it when you you run it you're going to see that um it's going to console log all of those things for you now now in the place that you have the facet name you're going to add the name of your facet so you can see i added it erc20 facet and that is all you need to add in your time um, in your deploy script just your um, constructor variables and your facet name now this is my hazard config i'm going to be deploying with hazard so i have all the variables that i need i'm going to be deploying to golly um, network and my private key all of these things are in my dot env file i believe you know what that is and uh, this is just like a basic setup my api um, token is just my key for my etherscan to be able to deploy to etherscan but we are not using etherscan here so you don't really need that you can just keep that um so ensure that you have all the things that you need don't worry your diamond cut facet will be deployed to an address your diamond will be deployed to your ad um, to its own address now the address that the diamond deployed is deployed to that is the address that you're going to check in your looper so just copy it to your looper.dev and ensure you put the correct network so i this is like an inspector to check um your contract so i have checked i've set it to golly testnet and this is where my contract was deployed to so the diamond is there that's the main um, contract and you can see the address and these are the different facets that were deployed that's the diamond cut facet diamond looper facet with its address ownership facet with its address erc20 facet with the address so now all of these things you have to verify them for you to be able to see them so after you verify them you're going to see them like this but without this you will not really see the name so just take note of that so now to show that it's working i could just try to read my erc20 facet and i select the method so let me choose one the name if i try to read the name i'll see the name remember i, I named it um, glory diamond the symbol is gpd so it works total supply is a big number so it works okay so to perform any right um action in your contract you could just click on write and now you have to connect to your um to your account so metamax is default um my default um, wallet so i'm just going to connect to it so you just put in your password to be um, able to allow you to sign um a transaction so i'm just going to select one account and i'll connect but now okay i was connected to mainnet so i'm going to do that again i'll just click on the icon and change network so i'll go to golly network and it should be connected now so you can select any of the functions or method 
to interact with if you click on approve you're going to see the spender an amount if you click on transfer from you see all the boxes so this is just to tell you that okay it's actually working to verify um all your interfaces you can easily do the normal route that you do on etherscan just copy the address go to etherscan and you'll be able to verify each of your contracts so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye